setting up a timed pop-up opt-in. Hey there, friends. You can easily increase the number of subscribers that you get from your website by adding a timed pop-up form to your pages. And in this lesson, we are going to show you how. Getting started. You can create timed pop-up forms that you can insert on your website with tools such as Optin Monk or with the tools provided by your email marketing service. In this lesson, we're going to show you how to create a timed pop-up form with MailChimp, step by step. Setting up your pop-up form. Start on the MailChimp dashboard and click on the Create Campaign button. Now click on the Sign Up Form option. Now click on the Pop-up Form tab and then click on the Select the List drop-down menu to select the list where you are going to collect the email addresses of leads captured through this pop-up form. Now click on Begin. Designing your pop-up form. Now it is time to design your pop-up form. Start on the Design tab where you'll have to customize the format, settings, and style. First, select the format. There are three pop-up formats available. Select Modal if you want the pop-up to appear in the middle of the screen. Select Slide if you want the pop-up to appear on the side, on Slide. Or select Fixed if you want your pop-up to fill the bottom of the screen. For this example, we are going to select the Modal format. Now select the Display Settings. In this menu, you will be able to select when to show your pop-up to visitors. You can show your pop-up immediately after a visitor enters a page. You can show it between 5 or 20 seconds after a visitor enters a page. When a visitor scrolls to the middle of the page, to the bottom of the page, or on exit. For this example, we are going to select after 5 seconds to show our pop-up 5 seconds after a visitor visits one of our pages. Now you have to select your image alignment. You have to make sure to create an attractive pop-up that features your offer. In our case, we are going to select Left Alignment to feature the cover of our league magnet to the left of the form. Next up, you have to select your font and your text color. Now move to the button style to enter a call to action in the text field. Then select your button's background color, hover color, and alignment. You can additionally check the full width option to make the same size as the sign up fields. Now move over the pop up template and click on Add Photo. Select the image that you are going to use on your pop up form and click on Insert. Now click on the Fields tab to add your sign up fields. To make the sign up process as seamless as possible, we recommend you to only add first name as an additional field to email if needed. Now click on the Content tab to add your pop-up form copy and your incentive. First, enter your copy in the body area. You can add more information to expand your copy in the footer area, but this is optional. Now move over the Sign Up Success Message area to type a thank you message to new subscribers and to add a link to your lead magnet. To add your lead magnet, click on the Insert Link button. Now click on the Link To field and select File. Because we already uploaded our lead magnet to our file gallery, we'll simply have to click on the file to select it and then on Insert. Now that your pop-up form is finished, you'll just have to click on Generate Code to get the code that will allow you to embed the pop-up form on your site. Copy the code, close the pop-up with the code, and then click on Publish. Adding your time pop-up form. After you generate and copy your pop-up code, You'll have to access your site's HTML code and insert your pop-up code within the HTML. If you're using WordPress, you can easily add your pop-up form to a page or post by inserting the code directly on the text editor. To show you how with an example, we are going to add our new pop-up to our site's homepage. We'll start by moving over the Pages tab on the left-hand menu in the dashboard, and then we'll click on the All Pages option. Now we're going to click on the Edit button under Front Page. We're going to click on the Text tab to activate the text editor. And then we'll click on the Code button. We'll now paste the pop-up code right after. And then we'll click on the Code button again to activate the code. Now we're going to click on the Update button. To see how the button works, 
we're going to visit our site on another browser tab. Awesome! Our pop-up appeared five seconds after we visited the page, just like we timed it.